Komodo dragons versus honey badgers. Who would win in a fight? Several people are eager to learn about facts and similarities between the honey badger and Komodo dragon, since they are two of the most well-known and ferocious animals in the world. In the weasel family, honey badgers, also known as rattles, are notoriously hardy individuals with tough skin and vicious natures. They are less related to badgers than previously thought, even though they are called honey badgers. The Komodo dragon is a large species of lizard found in Indonesia with a voracious appetite. Komodo dragons have venom-filled mouths, sharp teeth, and a keen sense of smell. The Komodo island in Indonesia is the main home to these dragon-like creatures. Size and body descriptions. Honey badgers can grow to a length of 0.7 to 1.2 meters, 2.2 to 4 feet, while their tails grow to a length of 17 to 30 centimeters, 6.7 to 12 inches. Height at the shoulder is 23 to 30 centimeters, 9 to 12 inches tall. The average weight of males and females can vary considerably, ranging from 10 to 14 kilograms, 22 to 30 pounds for males, and 5 to 12 kilograms, 11 to 26 pounds for females. Honey badgers resemble weasels more than badgers. Their bodies are long and slender, and they have short legs and a broad chest. They can turn freely inside their skin, since it is very loose. This helps when they are grabbed by other animals. A lack of an undercoat gives them their long, coarse fur. White or grey fur covers their backs and black fur covers their shoulders. Komodo dragons are usually about 200 pounds and have a size of 8 to 9 feet. In females, the height is 1.8 meters, 6 feet. The Komodo exists in a variety of colors, including grey, green, orange and blue. A hard, tough skin, as well as bone plates, called osteoderms, protects them from the elements and other animal attacks. The tail of the animal is large and muscular, and its claws are long. A Komodo has excellent vision. It can see objects up to 300 meters, 985 feet away. Their speed is also impressive. They can sprint up to 13 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per hour at times. And their primary method of detecting food is through their incredible sense of smell. Komodo dragons, similar to snakes, sniff the air to sample it and then touch their tongues to a special organ in their mouth that analyzes airborne molecules. Incredible, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Before we proceed, please consider liking the video. This will help us with the YouTube algorithm. Wildlife ranges and habitats. India, Iran, Afghanistan, Nepal and Turkmenistan are all home to honey badgers. Their habitat ranges from the Caspian Sea to Western India, as well as the south of Morocco to South Africa. These rats love to tear open dried trees and dig up burrowing creatures in arid areas. Forests and grasslands are also home to these species. To protect her young, a mother usually digs a long burrow with her powerful front claws. This animal is so quarrelsome that it shouldn't surprise us that they sneak into other creatures' burrows and steal from them. Komodo dragons only inhibit the five islands of Komodo National Park, Komodo, Rinka, Gili Montang, and Gili Dasami. Thus, they are very rare in the wild. Flores is the only island on which Komodo dragons can roam and wander freely. Tropical dry forests, savannas, and deciduous monsoon forests are known habitats for Komodo dragons. They are always attracted to extreme heat, no matter where they live. On the Indonesian islands, the average temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, with 70% humidity. Diet and Nutrition Honey badgers' food preferences are not very specific. They are opportunistic feeders who will consume any edible material. Honey badgers agree in unison that honey is delicious, as anyone who has a sweet tooth knows. However, they will eat more than just honey, even though they enjoy hunting and ripping apart bees' nests. These creatures eat animals like berries, vegetables, frogs, reptiles, 
insects, birds, and rodents. Komodo dragons eat meat, so they are carnivorous animals. Water buffalo and deer are among the large prey that can be consumed by their fierce hunting ability. Smaller dragons are also eaten by their own species. Komodo dragon hunts and kill prey in a very unique way. With its massive feet, it kicks the prey over as soon as it is close to it flipping it over. After that, they shred their prey to death with their sharp, serrated shark-like teeth. Even if the prey managed to escape, they will eventually die from blood poisoning, usually within 24 hours. The Komodos can detect dead animals from far away and eat them because they have an acute sense of smell. Behavioral Characteristics A honey badger lives alone and in a nomadic style. They move around daily to forage, occupying a large range. Male honey badgers can forage as much as 27 kilometers per day, while females cover shorter distances, around 10 kilometers per day. Honey badger males have been documented exchanging grunts and rolling around in the sand after foraging with other large honey badgers. Honey badgers have a reputation for aggressiveness. A male will defend a mate viciously if attacked. The dominant male will begin a dominant stance to determine who will stay inside the marked burrow if a competitor tries to enter the burrow. In the daytime, Komodo dragons roam their 1.9 square kilometer home ranges. They can overlap since they are not defended, but the dominant dragon will eat food when it is available in a shared area. After the adults' males have finished eating, the smaller males are next, then females, and lastly, juveniles. Biting their prey, even not causing fatal injuries, will eventually kill them, since their saliva contains more than 50 strains of bacteria. When the weather is hot, Varanus komodoensis retreats into its burrows at night. If a honey badger and a komodo dragon were to fight to the death, who would win? Historically, Honey badgers have been feared as they are very aggressive and fearless. Due to their lack of fear, they will fight predators without even realizing the dangers they are getting themselves into. Some even go up against the lions. A honey badger's teeth and claws are all very sharp. They have very strong immunity to poison. Since these animals are very intelligent, they release a foul smell to defend themselves against larger predators such as lions. Komodo dragons, on the other hand, can see their enemy from a distance thanks to their super powerful eyes. Several secret toxic proteins are found in the venom of Komodo dragons and can cause severe health issues to opponents and even death. Although honey badgers have a good immune system that allows them to survive a cobra bite, a Komodo dragon's bite can be lethal due to its venomous saliva. The Komodo dragon would be the obvious winner based solely on size. However, there are many other factors to consider. Komodo dragons are known for biting their prey to get their toxic saliva in their system. They will then search and find the dead animal and eat it within 24 hours since it has an incredibly keen sense of smell. What do you think? Which of the two would win a possible fight? Tell us in the comments down below.